there are three key features of hormone-sensitive lipase. Hormone-sensitive lipase is an intracellular triacylglycerolipase present in adipose tissue. The second key feature of hormone-sensitive lipase is that it is the enzyme responsible for the lipolysis of triacylglycerol or TAGs stored in adipose tissue during a fasting state. The three fatty acids and glycerol released by the action of hormone-sensitive lipase on stored TAGs are released into the bloodstream, transported through the bloodstream with the help of serum albumin for the fatty acids, and several tissues during this fasting state, can, including the liver, muscle, heart, can access these circulating fatty acids for use as an alternative energy source to glucose. The third important feature of hormone-sensitive lipase is that it is, as the name indicates, hormone-sensitive, and it is sensitive to the hormone epinephrine slash norepinephrine. Hormone-sensitive lipase can be activated through the activation of the beta adrenergic receptor by epinephrine or norepinephrine, resulting in the activation of adenylate cyclase, resulting in the rise in cyclic AMP, resulting in activation of protein kinase A, which in turn phosphorylates hormone-sensitive lipase. Hormone-sensitive lipase in the phosphorylated form is the active form. So the activity of this enzyme will be increased during the state where epinephrine is elevated or glucagon is elevated in the bloodstream, which is the fasting state. It is noteworthy that hormone-sensitive lipase in adipose tissue is only activated by epinephrine through the beta-adrenergic receptor. It is not activated by the glucagon receptor because adipose tissue lack a glucagon receptor. It is also noteworthy that tags stored in adipose tissue represent a significant amount of fuel reserves for various tissues during fasting and the lipolysis of these tags and availability of circulating fatty acids is essential for maintenance of the energy needs of several peripheral tissues during the fasting state.